Hello everybody, today we're mark our first video in our series titled Algebra 1 Final Review. This will work as, as well for your Algebra 2 classes, but this is more of a beginning type of thing. Today we're going to be dealing with compound inequalities, which are similar to the linear inequalities we did a while back, but this time they have one more part. The traditional uh, compound inequality, which I will make one right now, is something like this. Oh, better. Let's do a darker color, shall we? How about blue? Um, in this case, it'll be something like 2x minus 1 is less than or equal to positive 5. All right, but we're not doing that right now. We are doing compound inequalities, which have three parts to them. How will we solve this? Well, like the linear inequality, our goal is to make the x by itself. This time, we're doing what we do to x, we have to do to the other two sides. In this example, or in this type of um, concept, which were the linear inequalities, all we had to do was add 1 and then put it to both sides, but this time we have to add this one and put it to this negative 3 and negative 5 and positive 5. Let me show you what I mean here. Um, so we're going to want to add 1, right? Add 1 to here to cancel out this. Add 1 because what we have to do to one side, we have to do to the other two. And so we have a negative 2 here, which is less than or uh, equal to 2x, which is less than or equal to 6. I think I have it done. Yep, this is correct. And um, next step is we're going to want to get the x liberated from this 2 that's being multiplied to it. We know that the opposite of multiplication is division, and so we will divide with a different color. There we go. So we will divide by positive 2 to each and every side. Here we have negative 1 is less than or equal to x. We have that liberated and which is less than or greater less than and greater to uh, th positive 3. And that is our final answer. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully it was an, a bit educational. Hopefully you guys learned a thing or two. And I'll see you in the next part of our final series. See you.